Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It is Monday. Currently, we have made it past the hurricane. We know we took a week off last week, but we had just gotten back from working at the house for two weeks. Straight. Like, nonstop mm -hmm. on this new project that we're working on. It's an OMG factor because, you know, Airbnbs and short-term rentals are all about that. And we're trying to level up. So we have been putting in so much work mm -hmm. on this project. There's three parts to this project, but this is the beginning of part one. We've been calling it the super secret fun project thing <laughs> uh, internally, you know? Yeah. Uh, but the reason that we're doing this is because a lot of people are moving back to hotels. And the one thing that separates Airbnbs is coolness yeah. and like unique features, photo moments, all that kind of stuff. And we felt that our property was very nice. We love it, but we just want a moment that will stop you from scrolling on the page. So this is something we dreamed up over like a year ago. A year ago, and Michael's dad actually helped us come up with the name for it. So we can't wait to share what that is. But we have to get to the last phase before we share what that is because everybody's going to guess and think they know what it is because it's very obvious when we start doing it that you could guess and think you know. But just wait. Mm -hmm. The wow factor is coming. And also, like during filming this, we were outside in the wind a lot, so there wasn't a lot that we could like talk about during the process. So a lot of it is time lapsed. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments down below about anything. We'll be happy to share with you. But yeah, so let's get into it. This one was a sweaty one. What's up, guys? Great rising. We are back at the house in Joshua Tree and it is officially monsoon season here in the desert. We came the perfect time. It is currently raining. I don't hear it. Let me look at the ground. There you go. There's proof. I think this is the first rain that we've seen for our outdoor patio and these cushions. I'm actually just going to bring them inside. We are here and we have so much to do. We will be here for the next week or two and we just wanted to share the rain with you guys. Yeah. We woke up here, we came here late last night, we did not film, so. Yeah. This is us filming us here. Proof that we're here. Yes. Those hammocks are terrible, just FYI. Oh yeah, the new hammocks we got are no good. They gotta go. Yeah. Oh, there's thunder and lightning. Yeah. Ooh, Finn's gone. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's bring these cushions Let's go inside. In. I think they're fine though. I, the longer they can last, okay. the better. Look at, you can see this was the original color mm -hmm. and they've already started to like yellow a little bit. I think that'll be fine. They're under the cover there. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. It's raining. Everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Our Garage is a Mess, and I've just been avoiding it. The thing that we've done is throw all the leftovers and just throw everything in the garage, lock the doors, and leave. And I know that's not a great thing. I mean, our cleaners have had to use like the washer and dryer in here, but I've been putting it off because I was like, we're going to be out here over the summer, we're gonna be out there for two weeks. So I'm gonna do it then. So it is my goal over this time that we're here to clean our garage and make it workable, get nice and clean, make it easy for them to, you know, uh, have space to do laundry and stuff like that. So, I mean, look at, look at this. Just become kind of like where things collect. Old washer and dryer. We have lumber from old projects. This we just got, which is cornhole that we need to set out. It's actually a nice cornhole I found on Amazon. Good price for that. Um, and just like other things. And so our cleaners have been using this folding table to put all the laundry on after and then fold it and then put it away. But like, guys, this is not, not the way we want to represent ourselves. So um, it is now my duty to get this done. I 
I just picked up a piece of wood, and there is a scorpion. What do I do? I don't know. Do you see its tail? That is a large scorpion. Times like this that I face a moral crisis because I'm like, I don't want to kill things, but I also don't want a scorpion in our garage going in the house. That thing is giant. Let me see if I can get a better, better look at it for you. Are you ready? Oh my gosh, it's so big. This is just further proof why I need to clean this garage out. Like there should not be places for animals of that size, insects of that size to hide in the garage close to where people are. Like luckily there's seals underneath the doors that I, he, couldn't, he couldn't fit underneath. But, oh my gosh, this is why I need to clean all this stuff up. First order of business is getting rid of these washer and dryers. I think that is the first order of business. Fun fact, it's a full moon tonight and it's gonna be beautiful. The clouds have cleared out from this rainy morning and it's gonna be clear skies. So tonight is supposed to be the full moon and it's massive. We've seen it the last couple nights and I'm so excited we're not in LA for this full moon because we've missed the last few because I believe we've been in LA and haven't had any view of anything. So very stoked. Finn stoked it's sunny and there's no rain and thunder anymore. He was terrified. So we're gonna make some good old man witch. It has been, I can't tell you how many years since Michael and I have had a sloppy Joe. And they had this at the grocery outlet where we go every once in a while when we're up here. And I was like, you know what? I'll have some organic beef with man witch. Balance, balance is key. And we're gonna add a little bit of the corn salsa from Trader Joe's to that. Something I love about Grocery Outlet is that they sell, this is what they sell. What is it? What brand is this? Sherry Sweetheart. They sell the Sherry Sweetheart that's sold at like Erwan and Whole Foods brand. And matcha latte is phenomenal. <laughs> All right, let's make some dinner. So this first day we didn't film too much because we were working on our computers and really trying to figure out the dimensions of what this project was going to entail because we had been in Los Angeles trying to plan remotely up until this point. So now that we were in our house and at the place where we were going to start the project, we could measure everything exactly out and figure all of that before we got started and got all the wood in place and all of that before we started cutting all the wood that we had just purchased. Okay, so it is, what day is it? It is Tuesday, August 1st. Tuesday, August 1st, put in a delivery for the wood yesterday. It is getting delivered today. Tomorrow, my dad is coming and we are going to start officially, not really break ground, because there's not really brown, ground, ground to, to break. break, but um, to start this cool feature that we're adding to the house. And I'm thinking, we're not gonna, we're just gonna film it because you're going to guess and think you know what it is. And it's, it's not, not going to be what you think it is. But let's start this journey, right? We've been talking about this for over a year, just behind yeah. the scenes. And I don't, yeah, like I said, we haven't really had the balls to do it. So I think now we're... We're ready. We're ready. So the, height of the, summer. the wood is about to be delivered and exciting wood deliveries, you know, the little things that get you excited. <laughs> Perfect. Let's do it. Are you okay? Are you hearing the thunder? Come on. Oh, look at that little leg. Oh, my little shivering boy. Okay, so yesterday the uh, scorpion kind of threw me for a loop and I did not get the garage finished and it will get finished, but not today. Because I've been wanting to make a table <clears throat> for our cleaners. We've been using this crappy little table for our cleaners to fold and put laundry on. 
and I want to make so much scrap wood from other projects that like I just want to make like a nice surface nice big surface with a backboard on it so they can fold things things don't fall down um, and I have so much leftover wood from the the patio cover two by fours that I'm just gonna make one And one thing that I took for granted before is like having all of the same tools. Um, I used to have like a Ryobi drill and like just random saws and stuff like that, but getting all the same stuff and you can just use, I only have one battery pack right now because these are really expensive. Having the same battery pack so I can just switch from, from my saw to my drill to my sander and it's all the same battery pack. Eventually I'll just get a bunch of battery packs and then I won't even have to worry about that. But there's a little bit of joy in having things that match, you know? Seven. Just in, just in case. Just because we ruin it. Yeah. Just in case one snaps off. What's the, so those are three options. Uh, what's the price per piece on the the nicest one? Oh, real quick, I'm gonna get some pricing for you on these. I get some comparison pricing. Okay. And I give you a holler back in a few minutes. Amazing. Thank you. I got my work construction shirt on. I feel like one of the things that we haven't been doing recently is like letting you into like how we are or like how we're feeling about things and. I mean, honestly, over the last the last couple of months, like May, June, we're really busy here with guests. So we weren't here that much. We started getting comfortable at home in LA and focusing on work and stuff like that. Now that July is done, I do want to, I'll, I'll go over a little bit later. I don't have the numbers right in front of me, but how we did on July, it was not good. Like we, we had guests here, we made enough money to cover all of our expenses, but it wasn't anything above that. I'll find those and I'll, I'll get those for you guys. But it is the middle of the summer, so the fact that we had any bookings at all in the off season is a good sign for us. That's a, that's a whole nother discussion. We've been wanting to do this project for a year. The thought of it is just so daunting. We've been doing other projects and everything and I've just been putting it off. I knew that I had to like order the wood, had to have the things delivered or else I would just not start it. It's like, it's almost like you have to, it's like going to the gym. Like half of the battle of working out is actually going to the gym or like getting in your workout clothes. So I feel like that's what I had to do is just like order the wood and get everything like ready, line it up so my dad can come help me get things started. It's always nice having like another brain that understands woodworking to bounce ideas off and get a project started. So really grateful that he is coming 
to help today. But yeah, just been feeling like super unmotivated to do anything with the house and short-term rentals and, and all that stuff. So um, I appreciate you guys being here because you, in the back of my head, I'm always like, oh, I don't want to let you guys down. So yeah, just wanted to be real with you about that, that like, I'm really, really not looking forward to starting this, but I know that once it's done, I'm gonna be so happy about it. And because it's just been a vision that we've had for so long. So this is stage one. Like we said, it's not gonna be anything that you think, yeah, it's gonna be a hot one today. We're gonna try and stay cool. Let's get to work. So every time Michael's dad comes to work on a project, he's either wearing black or like some nice golf shirt the short sleeve and Michael and I have learned that reflective is best <laughs> when working on things out here. It keeps you cool. Keeps you so cool and it's super lightweight. So I went to Dollar General and grabbed Scott one of these and wait, hang on. Very stoked. He and I will have the same hat, you know, but it's orange and it'll match. It's real cute. Cause he cares about that. Yeah. So we're going to make him look like he's out here construction working, not like a golf pro, you know? Hey! Howdy ho! Cheap labor is here. You decided to wear black? Makes me look thin. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> you need this out here in the heat. It's not very expensive. But... You, you decided to wear black. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I have one too. Yeah. Well, yes. Perfect. And the orange shirt. Love you guys. This is great. That's what we don't get, get lost in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> in my face <laughs> this angle and I'm not sure how to use it or how to read it but that's what it comes out to. <laughs> see that angle I see that angle okay so the angle should be the same everywhere close Okay, so we had a little bit of a debate. I'm not ready. Well, I won't film you, okay? Not so we we just stopped for lunch, but we were, we were having trouble figuring out the angles of the cuts of the outside. What these plans are calling them girders. It's the base frame of this thing, and to make a pentagon, it told us to cut them at 18 degrees. My dad and I put it roughly together, and we're like, 18 degrees doesn't look right. It'll be way too wide. So we did a challenge. He was like, I'll figure this out. And so I left him outside and I came inside and used ChatGPT and put all the information in. When I came outside, he had just solved it. And I had, when the computer had just solved it, but I think his was more accurate. He found it was 36 degrees. You had to double, right? It was double 18. Told me to cut them at 54 degrees. It's 54, but my saw, when I set the angle on the saw, yeah. it's 90, it's only 90 degrees it's only 90. either way. So it's, it's depending on the piece of the wood, it's whatever's left of the 90. Yes. 36 or 54. It's the same cut. So 36 plus 54 is, is what? 90. Is 90. Yeah. So we got relatively close in the same amount of time with AI. So the computer is not always faster sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we were fiddling around with it for... Two hours. Two hours before <laughs> we decided to do that. So uh, yeah, we're taking a little break here, a little charcuterie board, Kristen, put together. I love that lemonade. All right.
Yeah. Do you want me to put this underneath it? Doesn't look great. Because the things are off. Oh. 